So I looked at the Aldi ad this week and I thought, you know what? There is some awesome stuff in there, so we have to go. Today, I'm taking you with me to Aldi and sharing a grocery haul with you. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I'm excited to take you with me on another Aldi shop with me today and I'm also going to be sharing a grocery haul with you. I don't have a list this week and I actually don't have all of my meals planned out yet so I kind of just wanted to go in the store and see what was going on. I got the ad in the newspaper this week and there looks to be some fabulous things in there so I can't wait to get in and see what they have left. But first we are going to have a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Upstart, so thank you to them for their support on my channel. If you're not familiar with Upstart, they are the fast and easy way to pay off debt or get a personal loan online. So whether it's paying off credit cards or consolidating high interest debt or even funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score. They also look at your income and your employment history, and that means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. The awesome thing about Upstart is that you can receive your funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan, and it only takes five minutes online to check your rate, so you can see that upfront for loans between $1,000 and $50,000. I've worked with Upstart in the past and several of you have actually reached out to me letting me know that you used their services and it was sort of like a weight or a burden taken off your shoulders. So I always appreciate when you reach out to me after using a service or a product that I feature on my channel. If you wanna find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today, you can go to upstart.com slash Jen. That's upstart.com slash Jen. Don't forget to use the link in my description box below to let them know I I sent you. Your loan amount will be determined based on your income, credit, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Once again, the link is upstart.com slash Jen. Now let's get back to the Aldi haul and shop with me. Okay, so let's get into the store, but first I want to thank you guys for always supporting me when I do post sponsored content. It really is important to me to have free content for you guys to watch, and part of that is me being able to have an income from YouTube so that I can have people help me <laughs> with my channel so I can put out more free content. So I know I always say this, but I really do appreciate your support on all of my videos, but when I post sponsored content as well. So let's go into the store and see what they have. They look to be a little bit busy so I hope this turns out okay. Okay first thing when I walk in I see flowers so I might have to get myself a bouquet of these. They're pretty and they're only $3.99. Strawberries are $2.19 a pound at Aldi right now which is not the cheapest but they look really good so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some. I'm so excited that Aldi has the turkey sticks back. These are $3.49. They're really good if you've never tried them before. They're cheaper than the ones at Walmart and my Aldi didn't have them for a while but they do now so I'm loving that. So I don't think I've ever seen these at my Aldi before and I think they're comparable to the high key keto cookies but they are gluten free keto chocolate chip cookies. Well actually they have snickerdoodle and chocolate chip. Oh I'm sorry this is the wrong tag. This is the correct one. Keto chocolate chip or snickerdoodle. So I think I'm gonna get one of these. If you guys like the peanut or I'm sorry the perfect bars they do have them here at Aldi, or at least at my Aldi. They're $1.89 each. And then sometimes I get these little salads too for Adam to take to work, so I might grab a couple of those. And then they also have these little trays for $2.49 with like prosciutto and salami. Oh, my sister told me this. She's like, they have Panera soup at Aldi. So it looks like they did have broccoli cheddar, but it's all gone, of course. But I might have to get a couple of the chicken noodle and baked potato. So I think these are new, these little salads. They're $5.99. There's Mediterranean orzo lemon bow tie and the summer caprese. We have a ton of barbecue sauce at home right now, so I'm not gonna get any, but I saw that they have these different types. There's Texas style, Carolina, and Kansas City. So let me know if you've tried these and if they're good. So they have these smart indoor gardens. I guess you could grow herbs in, $39.99. These water bottles are really pretty too. Like I don't know how well they would hold up, but there's some cute patterns. Of course, I don't know how much they are. There's not a tag. I know I've talked about this before, but I really like that they have this Castlewood lunch meat at my Aldi, because it's really Really good quality and it's only $5.49 for a pound. All right, so these look newish. Naked Noodle. They have teriyaki flavor, Thai sweet chili, and Chinese chow mein. I bet Kira would like something like this 
for lunch. They're done with school this week, so I'm gonna have to be finding them some easy lunches. So maybe I'll grab some of these. So they've got a bunch of drinks on an end cap here. They've got Smart Water, The Hint, Infused Water, and some Gatorade. I might grab one of these Gatorade Zeros. This is good to keep in the garage fridge for when the kids are playing outside and it's hot. I don't know if I've ever tried these before, but I always hear like really good things about these Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I don't know, I might try some just for a quick side. So I'm tempted to try these New York hot dogs, but I kind of hate that like snappy casing type deal, so I don't know if I'd, I'd like them. But they do have the Chobani Flip cookies and cream. I don't know if I'm going to get any because I've been trying to get like less sugar added yogurt for the kids. I don't know. I might get a couple just to throw in their lunch this week as a treat. They also have these Budweiser bratwurst. I might actually get some of these for Adam. So they have these salsas. There's one that's pineapple, habanero, and raspberry chipotle. Those look interesting. They have mocha rice pudding if you like that. I also see they have some of the churro chobani flips too. Is that? Oh, I thought that was a breakfast pizza. I was like, oh no, I love breakfast pizza. Well, and they have some of these Cozy Shack chocolate puddings also. If you're vegan, they have these meat-free chicken bowls. Different, oh, here's a beef and a broccoli one. Interesting. I don't need any of these, but they have these like round carrying cases for like barbecues and stuff. There's like a salad bowl, like to carry a pie or whatever. Those are, they're only $4.99, or wait, yeah, $4.99, that's a good deal. The Isle of Shame has many cool products today, actually. They have some Brianna's salad dressings, these Parmesan crisps. I also found some of the white cheddar pops for the kids. I saw these too, they are actually like potato salad dressings. I don't know about that, but it looks interesting. They have Taco Bell taco kits, lots of cool stuff. So these are basically pizza rolls made with cauliflower crust. I don't know, man, it sounds suspect, but it might be good. Okay, so I just got back from Aldi and here's everything I got. I spent around $200. I did make some impulse purchases because I just saw some pretty cool things. So let me show you everything. I did end up getting obviously some of my favorite turkey snack sticks. These are great to keep in the refrigerator and eat them as a quick like low carb snack with cheese sticks or whatever. And then I also decided to get some of this sweet and spicy guacamole. It's got pineapple and poblano peppers in it. I've had this before and it's really good. And I had fish tacos on the menu last week and I didn't end up making them so I'm going to roll those over to this week and that will be good with those. I did get four pounds of strawberries. What I'll probably do is wash up two of these today and then I'll wait and wash the other ones up so they don't go bad. But last week I made this like low-cal kind of like healthier funfetti fruit dip and I can share it with you guys in an upcoming video but basically it is sugar-free vanilla yogurt with a little bit of light Cool Whip and then some funfetti cake mix and it makes a really good dip for strawberries. So I thought I would get some more and do that one night. My Aldi is carrying coleslaw now, which is awesome. They used to not carry this. And I wanted to get this for the top of the fish tacos. So I got a bag of that. They had these nectarines that looked really good. So I went ahead and grabbed a bag of those. Everyone likes those and I'm sure we'll go through them fast. Like I said, the kids are done with school this week. So I need lots of healthy snacks on hand. I did also get some green grapes. I was excited to see these. I think these are around 250 a pound, which is pretty, inexpensive around here they've been around five dollars a pound and so i was excited to find those for that price i also got some sugar snap peas connor really likes these as a snack and i think these were 269 a bag i got some limes i was running low, low on those and i always like to keep them in the refrigerator i also got some pink lady apples these are one of my favorite kinds of apples they're really good with peanut butter and we we're running low on our apple bowl on the counter so i wanted to get a refill of those i also got some blueberries just for snacking and yogurts and then one avocado. I got some peppers to cut up for snacking and salads and maybe some recipes and stuff. I like getting the tricolor peppers from them. They're a really good price. So there's three in there. And then I also decided to get one of these Southwest chopped salad kits for me to eat for lunch this week. This comes with like a lettuce and cabbage blend and Greek yogurt jalapeno dressing and cheese and tortilla strips. And then sometimes I will add like chicken to it or something, but it's a good quick lunch. I also got two two English cucumbers. Both kids like to snack on these and I use them a lot for salads. So I grabbed two of those. These were new 
at my Aldi. I haven't seen them there before. It's the Sweet Pop tomatoes. So I don't know. I thought they looked good and I always like to have cherry tomatoes on hand. I also got one of these for Adam to take to work. This is the Santa Fe style salad. Normally they have like a Cobb salad too or like a chef salad and if they would have had that I would have got one of those for him. They just had this in the Caesar salad and he's not always a huge fan of Caesar so I got him that. And then I got two of the Panera soup. One baked potato and one chicken noodle. I was sad that they didn't have the broccoli cheese but oh well what are you gonna do. I got some 2% milk because we were all out of that and then I also got some half and half that's what I use in my coffee. I got two of the cookies and cream Chobani flips. Like I said they had these on sale for 99 cents. One pack of the Budweiser bratwurst. I was thinking that we would grill out sometime maybe this week. I've been wanting to grill out cheeseburgers and I just haven't gotten it done yet so maybe I'll put that on the meal plan for this week and we can have brats on the side too. I got some pork sausage. There's actually a low carb biscuits and gravy recipe that I make sometimes for Adam and I haven't made it in a while so I was thinking maybe I would make that for him. If not I can always throw this in the freezer and use it later. I got one pound of the Castlewood oven roasted turkey breast for sandwiches and then I did decide to grab one of these perfect bars. Sometimes I'll have these for breakfast or for an afternoon snack. This one is chocolate hazelnut crisp. I've never tried this one before. I've only tried the peanut ones so hopefully that's good. Connor likes these sour mints so I got some of those for him. And then I did a video last week like a Martha Stewart what I eat in a day. So if you guys haven't seen that video check it out. A lot of people liked it a lot. So I used some Kerrygold butter and I haven't always thought that it's made a difference in the past but like this time when I cooked with it I actually think it did. So I saw this Irish butter. This is the Aldi brand there and so I thought I would get it. It's, it's just half a pound and like I said I don't have a plan for it but I am going to be making some Ina Garten recipes also so it's something that I can use that for as well. The kids like to snack on these cheese cubes so I got two bags of those the mild cheddar cheese cubes and then I got one pack of the light string cheese. I actually like these as a snack in the afternoons. They only have 50 calories each and they're pretty good so I got that. I actually got two of these but Adam grabbed one when I got home so I got one with the prosciutto which is the one he took and then this one has salami and provolone so I'll put that one in the fridge. I got a couple of these for the kids. These are the apple cheese and pretzels. I thought they were actually a good price and I think I would continue to buy these if they had them at my Aldi. Obviously this is something that you can make cheaper but sometimes like I don't know with my life sometimes I feel like I have to pay for the convenience because I don't have enough time to always do these kind of things and if I can buy something like this that's healthier than you know <laughs> chips or something junky then it's a better choice so I got two of those and then I got these mostly for Adam the keto cookies. One is chocolate chip which we tried and he's like yep they taste like keto cookies and then the other one is snickerdoodle which we didn't try yet but I, I mean I would recommend these if you're doing low carb I think they're a good choice you don't really get that many per serving there's only seven cookies and they're very small but either way I mean yeah I, I imagine you could like sprinkle these on top of like a low carb ice cream or something I think that would be a really good treat I got some granola bars for the kids these are just the chewy peanut butter and chocolate chip and then I got me some flowers I just thought these were pretty with the purple and gold so grab those for $3.99 and put them in a vase. I got some Honey Nut Cheerios for um, just to have for cereal. It's something that the kids can make themselves for breakfast very easily and I haven't had Honey Nut Cheerios in a while and I was kind of comparing the sugar and calories between this and other cereals and this one seemed to be, I don't know, I mean I don't know if it's better. It's still it's still sweetened cereal but whatever. It's better than like Reese's Puffs or something like that. I got some of these Parmesan cheese salad crisps. I like to have these on hand for, I really like to have them in Caesar salad so I figured I'll just throw those in the pantry. I got some honey. I like to have like a squeeze bottle on hand of honey too because sometimes like Kira will make tea and she'll put honey in it or I'll have like we'll have like honey on biscuits or something like that and so it's easier to have a squeeze jar of that. I just decided to get one of these noodle cups. This one is the Japanese teriyaki. These I actually got from Farm and Fleet. I went there before I went to Aldi to look at a couple things and they had some sugar-free candy so I got some caramels and some of these Reese's zero sugar peanut butter cups and then they also had this cherry salsa which I thought sounded pretty interesting. I've never had cherry salsa before so I thought we would try that. This was the last package of French rolls that I could find at Aldi and I have a bag of meatballs in the freezer that I actually got on clearance at Walmart and so I thought maybe I would throw those in the crock pot with some marinara sauce and we could have meatball subs one night this week so that is why I got those. 
And then I saw, I don't know if I've seen these before at Aldi, I'm sure they've had them before, but these are the low carb tortillas and they're four grams of net carbs per tortilla and only 80 calories, which I thought was pretty good. So let me know if you've tried these before. I assume they're probably just like the mission ones, which are pretty good. So anyway, I thought we'd have those for either tacos or breakfast burritos or quesadillas or whatever. And then I think I'm gonna make these tonight. I did get some of the pretzel buns. The reason I got these was to do like ham and cheese. If you do hot ham and cheese on a pretzel bun, it is so good. It's a little like Dijon mustard. So I think we might have that for dinner tonight, but I don't know that I've had the Aldi brand of pretzel buns before, but I can't imagine <laughs> that they would be bad. And then I did decide to get these Bob Evans mashed potatoes. So we'll see about these. I, like I said, I can't remember if I've tried these before, but I've heard good things about them and I figured they would be a quick side for dinner this week. I got one of the yakisoba chicken flavor for Kira to have for lunch. And then also the kids do like pepperoni rolls for lunch every once in a while. So I figured this would be at least a couple lunches for them. They like to dip them in ranch and they are super good in the air fryer if you've never tried that before. There was a recipe I was looking at not too long ago that called for chipotle peppers and I could not remember if I had any in the pantry. So I just went ahead and grabbed this can. It was only a dollar. So I'll have those on hand. I got some crackers because we were all out of those and I like to have these on hand for soup that I would get those because I haven't had diet Snapple in a while and they're really good. If you never had the diet peach tea, it's good. The diet raspberry tea is good too. So I went ahead and grabbed those and then I think I showed this to you guys in the store, but I'm gonna put this out in the garage fridge, these Gatorade Zeros. There's six berry, six cherry, and six glacier freeze. And then I saw these at Aldi also. I've, they've had these there before, like randomly in the Isle of Shame, but these are the white cheddar puffs and they're kind of like the Pirate's Booty if you've ever had those before, but they're really good and they, I think, are a little bit healthier than chips. So I went ahead and got those. And there's only six bags in there, I think. Yeah, six bags, but whatever. It's fine, it's a summer snack. Kira was asking me for dino nuggets. I don't know why she wants those specifically, but I went ahead and grabbed them. So a pack of those. And then I saw also that Aldi had these milk chocolate banana babies. So if you've never had these before, they're just bananas dipped in chocolate and frozen. They're actually really good. I can remember like my mom making these when I was a kid, like homemade. And I think I tried to make them homemade once and I screwed them up, but you can do it pretty easily. But I saw these there and I was like, oh, that'd be a fun treat. So I got those. If you've never tried, the shrimp, the frozen shrimp at Aldi, it's really good. They have a plain like breaded butterfly shrimp and then they also have a coconut shrimp. And I like to keep one of these in the freezer because sometimes when Adam and I will make steak for dinner, we'll have this on the side and I'll just throw it in the air fryer. It's really, really good. Like I would say this is just as good of quality as the name brand that you can get at the regular grocery store. So I would definitely recommend that if you like shrimp. And then this, I don't know, this was an impulse purchase. I was like actually going to the checkout and I saw these and I was like, Oh, see, I feel like Aldi gets you with the FOMO, right? If you don't know what FOMO means, it stands for fear of missing out. So, you know, they have these like limited buys where you can only get it for a certain amount of time. And I'm just like, oh, I need to try this. So anyway, Mama Kazi, which I'm sure is authentic Italian, hot honey pizza. So it says it's on a pretzel style crust, which the crust doesn't really look like a pretzel. So I'm not sure, but this one is barbecue chicken. And then this one is pepperoni. So I don't know. We'll try them. I feel like they look good and I don't know, I mean, frozen pizza is frozen pizza, right? So that can be a quick dinner when I don't know what else <laughs> to make. I did also get some croutons. We were all out of those. I actually don't really prefer the Aldi croutons. They're not my favorite, but that's all they had there. So I grabbed those. I got two boxes of mac and cheese. This is actually what my kids prefer rather than like the shells and cheese. So got those for maybe a quick lunch, some Diet Coke. And then they did have bomb pops at Aldi, which I thought was kind of cool. So I went ahead and got a box of those. I'm gonna put these out in the freezer in the garage so the kids can have them when they're playing outside. I needed some more of the scent beads, so they did have the gain fireworks there. This is Blissful Breeze. It smells really good. I would recommend that, but got those. And then I, so these I've gotten at Trader Joe's before. I don't know if I've ever purchased them at Aldi, but they're hash brown patties. And if you have an air fryer, these are super quick to throw in the air fryer for breakfast and they crisp up really well. Maybe someone out there will know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure. But when I can remember when I was a kid, I think it was Orida used to have these hash brown patties and I can remember my dad making them and frying them in a skillet in oil but they were cheese flavored and 
I cannot find them anywhere anymore, so they must not make them. But I, yeah, I can remember the, having these hash brown patties that were cheese flavored, and I remember just thinking they were so delicious. Of course, I don't know why I just went off on that tangent. But anyway, I was gonna say, if you have kids and you are looking for a quick breakfast, like even during the week, you can throw these in the air fryer, make some scrambled eggs, piece of toast, boom, you have like a decent breakfast before school. So anyway, I'll put those in the freezer and we'll use them throughout the next several weeks. And then I did get some paper plates from Aldi because we're running low on those. And yes, the paper plate police can come for me because I do use paper plates <laughs> sometimes. So anyway, I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to attempt to make a meal plan and I'll show you that. All right, so it's definitely later in the night now, but I did finish my meal plan, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I did make hot ham and cheese sandwiches tonight on those pretzel buns. They turned out really good. And then I'm trying to clean out my freezer, so I found a bag of tater tots in there. I went ahead and cooked those. It was about half of a bag. And then I cut up some veggies. So we had like cherry tomatoes and cucumbers and some sugar snap peas. So that was good. And the kids actually ended up liking the sandwiches, which I I kind of knew they would because they like soft pretzels. Kira had hers with turkey. Connor had his with turkey and ham. And then Adam and I ate the hot ham and cheese. It was really good. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to make BLTs because I have a bunch of tomatoes that I got last week at the grocery store and they're ripe now. So I have those and then I have some bacon in the fridge. I have bread. I have everything I need to make those. So I'm going to make that. And then I believe I have a box of Annie's like shells and cheese in the pantry cheese up. So I'm going to make that. And then probably some fruit salad on the side. I did end up making that like funfetti dip for the strawberries. Tuesday I'm going to try a recipe for halibut. I did get some of that frozen from Thrive Market and I haven't used it yet. And then on the side I'm going to make broccoli and then I found a recipe for an endive salad. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that at Hy-Vee. I'll have to see. I need to go there and pick up some medicine later this week. So I'm going to see if they have that. If not I'll figure out something else. On Wednesday I thought we would do burgers and brats and then I was going to make a caprese salad with the rest of those tomatoes. And then I may go to the farmer's market on Tuesday afternoon if they still have it like they did last year and see if I can find some corn. I don't know. It might be too early in the season yet. So we'll see. If I can't find anything, I'll figure out something else. On Thursday, I'm planning to make a roast chicken. I have a chicken in the freezer that I want to use and make room because we are going to get a half of a beef in a few weeks. So that's exciting. And then I'll probably make roast potatoes and Brussels sprouts with that. And then Friday, we always have pizza. And then Saturday, I figured I would make those meatball subs and a salad on the side. So that is this week's meal plan. Sometimes I still get questions on my meal planner. Um, for those of you that are new, this is from Carrie L. I always have a link in my description box, but I've been using her meal planners for years and they are my favorite. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for coming to Aldi with me today and for watching this video. I had fun filming it and I hope that you got some ideas for what you want to pick up at Aldi the next time or some ideas for your own dinners this week. Don't forget to check out Upstart. I'll have a link in the description box below. You can check that out. Make sure to use my link so that they know I sent you. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!